Hey guys, Coach Nate here. I just wanted to jump on a quick video and uh, encourage you to keep it up, right? We are coming down to the last few weeks, maybe three weeks left here of uh, solid work to get us over the line before those post tests. And no matter where you are on the journey of these eight weeks, whether you've been pretty consistent in getting stuff done, whether you maybe started out strong for the first week or two and then kind of hit a lull and have fallen off the wagon or whether you didn't do anything at all so far, you can still make a difference in these last three weeks um, towards uh, your challenge results. Okay, it takes just one day, one meal, one little change. That's all that matters uh, to get the ball rolling and get you going. So the, the biggest thing you're going to see over the course of the three weeks that you have left is uh, nutrition is going to make the biggest difference, right? So we want to make sure that we are watching our portion sizes, that we're eating quality foods, lots of vegetables, getting full from those things. Make sure you get three meals a day. So not just like one meal and coffee. You need three solid meals a day spread out throughout the day. And you need to make sure you're having protein with every single one of those meals. Those are going to be some simple but very important things that are going to make a big difference for you. Um, make sure you get enough water intake. Um, and like I said, eating protein and vegetables will kind of fill you up and make you want to eat a little bit less uh, so that you can control your portions and stuff like that. That being said, um, if you just watch what you eat, yes, we're going to lose some weight over the next couple of weeks, but you're also going to lose a bunch of muscle uh, and that's going to make a difference towards your body fat percentage as well. It might not skew it in the right direction. It might stay the same, or it might even go the other way if we lose a bunch of muscle and it's a greater percentage than the amount of fat that we lose. So at very least, we want to be doing some type of calisthenic exercises. So that's push-ups, sit-ups, squats, just body weight stuff, right? If you don't normally work out, adding those things into your routine will make a big difference towards building some muscle. If you're already working out pretty regularly, that stuff won't make a huge difference, but it will help out. If you're looking to create some workouts and you've got some equipment at home or in your apartment gym or your rec center or whatever, uh, I hate to tell you this, but ChatGPT is actually a pretty good resource. You just would go in, type in, uh, make me a 30 minute high intensity interval workout using dumbbells, body weight exercises and a spin bike. And it'll spit out a pretty darn good workout for you. Uh, at least gives you something to do. Um, something to follow, kind of keeps you motivated. It's a pretty darn good workout. And then you could shoot a different one in there the next day and it'll give you a whole different workout, right? You can also give it more prompts and ask it for more information. If you want to email or call me, we can also get you some more information that way to getting something a little more serious. Um, try to increase those neat cows. So like it's called non-exercise energy expenditure. So that means parking farther away from the building, taking the stairs instead of the elevator, um, walking to work, going for a walk, those kind of things. Things that are like not major exercise levels, but, but are going to get your energy burned uh, throughout the day a little bit higher, right? Uh, I know you're all doing the grind on Saturday. I'm sorry to miss that. I got to go coach my son's football, but I'll be there with, in, with you all in spirit. Uh, afterwards, make sure you stretch out lots. Um, make sure you eat properly like we've been talking. And then the last piece that we really got to make sure you work on is sleep. Okay, so we might not think that that's important. We might think, hey, I'm in this challenge. I'm going to get up really early. Uh, I'm going to get my workouts in. I'm getting extra workouts. But if you're not sleeping enough, then your body's not recovering enough. So your energy level is going to be low. You're going to maybe supplement with too much caffeine uh, to get the energy. And then you don't get the proper uh, hormonal balances and just uh, changes in your system that you need that comes from having good sleep. So again, no matter where you are on this journey, let's go. Get it going. You can hammer out these last couple of weeks and make a difference and help your team get a better score. You can participate. You can get in your pictures, get out for the grind, get in all those things uh, and make a difference. And like I've said to everybody in our individual consults, which I'm really looking forward to having with all of you. So make sure you sign up for a time. Don't skip out on the testing. If you're like, hey, I really don't uh, think that I made a difference and I don't want to see the tests and I don't want them to be part of the challenge. Little secret tip. I don't care. Come and meet with me anyways. We don't have to do the scan. We will. But uh, we don't have to enter the numbers in if you're really uncomfortable with that. I just want to have a chance to chat with you and say, hey, why didn't we make a difference? Why didn't it work? Or, hey, let's celebrate you. How much change did we make? That's awesome, right? I'm looking forward to seeing each and every one of you so that we can discuss the goals we set 
reassess them and then set some new goals so that this isn't just an eight week challenge. This is a year round thing that we can make a difference in your lives and help you get uh, happier, healthier, and fitter. Cool. Okay. Let's go. Let's hammer out these last few weeks. I look forward to seeing everybody soon. Good luck.